Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Draw. And today we're gonna draw this really cute picture of a mom and a baby giraffe. Or it could be a dad and a baby, or maybe just a big brother, a little sister, or something like that. I'm gonna show you how to make all the basic shapes for this, and then we'll add the hearts and the patterns to the body. I even added some hearts on the body too. But go ahead and get your drawing supplies and let's get started. We'll start with our big giraffe first, and we're gonna start with the front of the body and the neck. So right here, imagine this is the front of the front foot. We're gonna make a line that goes straight up and down, and we wanna make it really tall because it's the big giraffe. And then you're going to make a line that kind of goes out and curves back like that. Then you're going to have this line go straight up and down for a little while, and we'll stop about there. Now, since I'm making this already a little bit bigger, I'm gonna actually make this foot longer now. And I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna make a straight line at the bottom here. I'm gonna go up a little ways and then curve back down. I'm gonna go straight across go up a little bit less than this one, so a little shorter this time, and curve back down. Straight across, and we're gonna do one more, a little shorter than this one now. A little shorter and like that. Straight across, and now this, we are going to have go up a little ways to about there, maybe a little higher. And then we're gonna have a curve like this until it meets about there. So there's a big empty space here, so I'm just gonna bring that down. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the shape for the baby. So I'm also gonna do this side, but since the baby's facing the other way, it's gonna be over here. So we're gonna go up just a little ways this time and stop. And I like to have the little one looking up, so I'm gonna have, kinda go up and curve back like that. And then go straight up and down just a little bit. And then again, straight across, go up and over, straight across, a little bit shorter this time, curve, straight across, and one more that's even shorter, like that. And then up and down, and go back and connect. So we got the two shapes. Now what we're gonna do is start adding some of the little details. So first of all, I'm gonna do a curved line for the eye on both. Um, if you wanna add eyelashes, you can. You could have the eyes open too. Now a giraffe has a snout kind of like a horse. So their nose is actually way down at the end here. So I don't wanna do the smile right here. I'm gonna have the smile kind of down here. Just a little one like that and same over here. So the nose remember is like way down here. So smile like that. And then I'm gonna do little lines at the bottom for the hooves of the giraffe. Then I'm gonna add two curved lines for an ear. And they also have these kind of, they almost look like antennas, but they're horns. You do two straight lines and then a little circle. And then for the tail, I do two curved lines that meet at the end, and then two curved lines for like the little puffy, hairy part of the tail. And then I'm gonna do hair on the back. So how I did mine is I did a straight line and a zigzag. And when I get close to the back, I just kind of do another straight line. You could add some extra lines in there. Another way you could do the hair on the neck instead of a zigzag is maybe some curved lines like this. Maybe these might feel a little easier for you. It's whatever you like. And then, of course, we want to add the spots. So the front of their bodies and their bellies usually have less spots, so I do more kind of close to the back. And I did this little heart one too, cause I just thought it was cute. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to draw a line for the ground. So somewhere above the feet. So just make sure it's not way down here. I'm gonna make a line that goes straight across. Um, if there's any parts where it goes behind these openings between the legs, just make sure you add that line in there. Perfect. And then I did some hearts in the air. So um, a heart can take a little practice. One way that you can do it is you can do a letter V with one, two curves on top. So letter V with one, two curves on top. Sometimes it even helps me to turn my paper and I can draw like a number three. But I think just the letter V with the two curves is a pretty good way. And that's all finished. Of course, you could write a message. Maybe you wanna write, I love you at the top. That could be really cute if you're giving it as a gift. It's totally up to you. But once you're all finished drawing your picture, of course, it's time to color it in. And here is how I chose to color in my first one. So I used crayons and markers just cause I like how some parts are dark and some are light, but you can color it any way you want. Maybe you want to make yours different colors. So instead of like the real giraffe, maybe you wanted to do pinks and purples or blues and greens, which could look really cool. But just take your time and have fun. I hope you guys had fun making your big and little giraffe. I know Mother's Day is coming up, so it could be a good gift for mom or auntie or grandma or anyone really. But I will see you guys next time for our next drawing video. Bye.